Aloha Kako, DJ Kano, and we are at Dark Hours, Razorback. I want to go over the next position, which is the over... No, not Overwatch. We just did that. Why am I, what am I thinking? It's late. It is the plate position, okay? Uh, the generators or plate position. Many people call it different things, but typically the most common thing I've heard are plates. And um, I'm not sure why it ever got called plates because there's no plate there. This was kind of a thing when uh, one of my buddies was first playing with us, and he's like, you said get on plates? What are you talking about? There's no plate. I'm like it's right there there's no plate it's right there it's no plate well you know there's some things on the ground that make kind of a plate but there really is no plate what you're talking about is the dotted line here it's really hard to see but you see there's a dotted line circle that goes all the way around this generator okay so that is the plate position and that's where you will be stationed if you are running a plate okay so every position has a plate every corner so that was number one this is number four two three is back there two is back there okay so what is happening with the plate position Okay, so when you are running a plate, your job is to actually activate the Razorback and do damage to the Razorback. So the mechanics of what is happening here is you need four people, one person per corner of the, the Razorback getting into these generators. Uh, I might have said it before elsewhere, but basically this is the same situation as the mid-boss in Liberty Island mission. And um, you have to get in proximity of a generator there, and it activates and opens the Razorback. It reveals the weak points and the sections where you can actually do damage to the Razorback. So you'll do the same thing here, but four people have to do it together at the same time. You have a variance of about 20%. Uh, what does that mean? That means if I were to go and jump into that circle there, that dotted circle, aka the plate, there will be a percentage that shows up above the, the generator, and the percentage will go from 0 to 100. So if I jump into my plate, and it starts to climb up to 100, and say my partner that's over there on number 4 were to maybe get into the plate a little bit too late, if my number says 20% and his says anywhere between 20 and 40%, that's still okay. 20% variance is okay. Um, anywhere between that number. So if I'm at 20, he's at 25, that's fine. 20 and 40, that's fine. But if it's anywhere outside of 20, that's probably not close enough. So between 20 and 40 is good. 20. Less, so if I'm at 20, he's at like 45 or anything higher, then that's too much of a variance. You need to get off the plate, let it go back to zero, and try again. So you really have to be in sync when trying to do this. Um, they did give that extra variance, just in case, because you know, they didn't want you to be super precise, but you still have to pay attention to that variance. So what would happen is, the drone killer person is one of the people that runs the plates. So they will actually be the one to call it out and say, okay, everybody get ready. We're about to go on plates in three, two, one, go. So let's pretend the plate is right over here. So I'll actually go ahead, okay, go roll into the plate and I'll actually take cover by the generator. Okay, I'm not going in there to show you the demo because if I go into the plate area, it'll activate the ads and I'm gonna get swarmed and probably die because I'm by myself. Okay, so again, because okay, three, two, one, get in your plates. Okay, I'm in and I'm gonna take cover by the generator. Okay, so this is pretend the barricade next to me is the generator. I'm gonna be turning and looking and trying to help and shoot ads if I can. Uh, your focus though is not ads. The overwatch that is with you, your partner, your buddy, is gonna be making sure the ads don't kill you because you need to stay alive and you need to stay in proximity of your generator until uh, everybody is able to break off some pieces of the Razorback. If anybody gets off of their plates uh, during this charging phase prematurely, if you get off prematurely, it'll cause mortars to come out and hit you. So you need to be in sync. Like I said, it's very crucial to have that communication and teamwork going down. Okay. So if you get into the plate, and someone gets off too early, or if you take too long with trying to break open the plates of the Razorback, then you'll get a mortar on your head and you have to try all over again. Uh, depending on what you're wearing, glass cannon, you may actually die from the mortar, so be very careful about having that being a thing, okay? So, let's assume that nothing bad happened, okay? Everybody get in your plates, three, two, one, everyone's in. All right, percentages are going up. And um, you're shooting ads if you can. Overwatch is going on. Ads are spawning. What's going to happen next is the uh, drone killer person will probably be calling out, okay, we're at 80%. What does that mean? Okay, so 80% means you should be getting your specialization ammo ready, your, your um, gun. So you'll have one person, their drone killer is going to be using a crossbow. Opposite to them, it'll be a demolitionist. 
or just a regular concussion grenade whatever works better for your team concussion grenade would be this guy right here or a grenade launcher okay the reason for those specific items is because as you see i stand here there's this metal plate once the generators reach 100 percent this plate will open up and there will be a grate with a red light that appears there and the person who has the crossbow in this case the drone killer the other side will have another crossbow person who's not a drone killer but they will have a crossbow and you want to get the crossbow and go ahead and shoot that grate off okay the grate will be off the red light will be accessible now and you want to throw a grenade into the red light area and turn it green so throw a grenade or shoot a grenade launcher whatever you do angle it properly and that's what you need to do to have this half of the section be completed okay all this while everything i just said you need to stay near your generators if you get off before all of this is completed a mortar's on your head okay so let me try run around to the back side and show you that it's identical it's not really that crucial that i show you but i'm just going to do it because i want to do it um <clears throat> doesn't matter where doesn't matter um who's on what position but you do need to have one crossbow person here and opposite of them should be a demolitionist okay again I'll just repeat it. You're going to have to wait for 100%. Um, before reaching 100, they'll say, okay, it's uh, 80%. That means you get your specialization weapon ready from your generators. You'll be at your generators, not where I'm standing. I can't stand there right now. And crossbow shoots first. Boom. The grate is gone. A grenade launcher shoots into the red light. It turns green. And once this side does it and the other side does it, okay, so all four people are going to be doing things to open up the Razorback. Once both sides are completed, then you'll see the plate itself, the started line, the circle. It'll turn green for a second and then go away. Once it goes away, you are in the clear to start moving and running toward your damaged spots, okay? So you'll come running this way. And you are going to start doing damage to the Razorback. Okay, so I hope I'm very clear what it takes to open the Razorback. Four people get into their plates, waiting for 80%, get your specialization ammo ready. Crossbow pops at 100%. A grenade goes in the grate after the crossbow pops it off. And then you will be a green light, green light. Uh, green plates plates are gone okay you're waiting for all of those things to happen i know that seems like a lot but it goes really quickly and once you see it for yourself i hope you get a chance to experience it and go forward and practice it it becomes second nature it's really not that bad okay once that happens what you will see just like in the liberty island mission there will be a gigantic large panel right where i'm aiming gigantic panel opens up in the middle of the razorback right there okay drones will also come out and the drones will kill you very quickly if the drone killer is not paying attention to what they're doing they will be popping the drones with their jammer pulse don't worry about that right now that is not important if you are in a normal plate position you are not the drone killer you don't have to worry about that okay so again you completed all the steps that i talked about before the, the razorback panel pops up what you're going to see are two weak points these weak points protect the main weak point in the center of the large panel here Okay, so there will be one weak point here. It's kind of, it, you can't see it because this winged panel is in the way. This winged panel that I'm shooting directly at will come down to the side and you'll see kind of like a little ear, like the ear of the Razorback will pop open. If you aim at it, you'll have a yellow bar of health that, that shows up and you'll be able to go ahead and shoot it. Okay, you want to break those off. One other one will be on the opposite side here. So left and right weak points on this side. This is what's called the front of the Razorback because it is right in front where you walk in. Okay. So once those two are broken, the third one that's right in the middle of the large panel will reveal itself. And then you'll be able to actually do damage to the Razorback. You'll see the health bar, which is on top of my screen. The health bar will slowly decrease. Okay. You'll be able to do 25% damage per damage phase given that you're able to do enough damage before the timer runs out. So this whole sequence is, uh, is somewhat timed. So if you do it quickly, you'll have more time to do it. You do it, take it too long, then the Razorback will close up and you'll have to break the weak points again to reveal the center for damage. Okay, so every time you want to damage the center, actually damaging the Razorback, you will have to break the weak points on either side to be able to do damage. Okay, that's what happens every time. To open it up and do damage, you got to go through the phases of the crossbow, the uh, grenade launcher etc 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 every single time 
okay so this side we're clear let's go talk about the other side where the weak points are and how to do damage on that side again i'm simulating it because i don't actually get to see the thing because i can't activate it right now but hopefully this is still helpful okay so i'm going to come back over here and i'm going to go and show you where those points are so it's going to be different so if i'm looking at the opposite side the back of the razorback uh, i'll i won't be able to see it but there will be the front weak points are are right here right if i were to look that way that's not where they are in the back this is the back of the razorback if you want to see the weak points you'll have to look on the center panel where the third weak point is going to be too so for this one the large panel in the middle that i just talked about there will be a weak point on the left weak point on the right and the one right in the middle the one in the middle is directly opposite of the one on the front so that's not going to be different the only difference are the two weak points here it's going to be left and right on the large gigantic panel in front of you okay they act the same way as the ones on the front you have to break both to reveal the one in the center to actually do damage on the razorback okay so that's how that works okay one other important function and something that you have to know about the mechanics of the razorback as um, a plate position when you are doing this damage phase okay do all the things with the crossbow and the grenade launcher do the weak points and you do damage to the middle once the timer is up and your allotted time for damaging the razorback is over what you'll need to do is get in cover right over here or on the other side i'll show you because there will be two mortars that come and land on your head okay so you have to be very careful of that they're very powerful mortars a little bit more powerful than the ones that drop on your head if you make a mistake and walk off the plate too early so you will need to probably get in position and break weak points from a good position okay so if you're coming off of the plate for example like right there is a gen and i come off of the plate and i go over here and i want to be close i want to shoot the the weak point i'm going to shoot it from here but if i'm not paying attention to my timer and i suddenly see the razorback is going to close i'm about to get with the mortar i don't have enough time to run 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 and get cover the mortar is going to hit me already so i like to go from position number two and stand pretty close to the trailer and do my weak point damage do my weak point damage and then as soon as i hear the mortars are coming go ahead and boom take cover okay uh same thing from position number three it's just going to be the opposite side so, so number three is going to do damage from here be next to the truck and i hear the razorback closing mortars are coming and right here boom okay you got to be deep into the truck another thing too is you see how slow the animation kind of is to watch my character go in so if i go to cover you see that i still i do kind of a weird little wiggle and then i stop against the truck if you're not completely against the truck in cover like that there's a chance you might still get hit with the the mortar um <clears throat> maybe not so much on this side the truck is big uh, i've not really had too many issues on this side but the other side i'll show you the other trailer the other trailer you may have some issues i'll show you what it looks like so this trailer because it's open like this you may have an issue there's no center part to protect you like the truck does so same thing if i'm on number four or on plate position shoot my weak point right here boom 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 and then here the mortars coming i just get cover right there boom okay so that's what you do get right over here and if you're number one you're the drone killer you're probably not even shooting the weak point because you don't have a lot of dps you can try to help if you can but um <clears throat> it's going to be up to the person that's over here and if overwatch is paying attention to their ads uh their ads are not spawning they can also shoot from a distance from where they are and help do damage on top of the razorback okay um the other positions too i'm sorry positions three and two will also run back and help out so you'll always have at least three people doing damage to the weak points and then overwatch will help if they can but at least three people will be doing it so maybe two people will be on this side and they can take cover here one and two and then the other person will be taking cover here with the drone killer and they can shoot from down here so you can see that you can shoot from here and then you can take cover right there okay or over here whatever works best for you but um i recommend being nearby these cover spots if you are doing your weak points so that you can take cover the other thing that some of my teammates do that works for them i don't really like doing it doesn't seem to work for me but it works for them is they come and they hug the razorback if they just stand over here you can't really take in cover but you stand as close as you can to this port they don't seem to get hit by the mortars if they're in time to get into this position okay that's that goes same for the back of the razorback too you can go over there 
okay those are where you can hide for mortars what i did not go over in the overwatch position i did not go over mortars so i'm going to talk about it here if you watch the overwatch video you've known all the other mechanics there except for this one so i'm going to talk about overwatch if you're in overwatch i don't like to stay in cover because if you do have the razorback mortars coming down they will also hit you too not just to play people i recommend that you run in place uh well just run anywhere not necessarily in place but just run anywhere in a straight line is probably the best you can even run in circles I, I mean that's not a problem for me i've never had that issue but just run get your timing right and you will not get hit by a mortar you cannot really take cover from the mortars unfortunately because it's shooting from farther away it probably anywhere you take cover you may get hit with the mortar okay so i, I would recommend just running into any direction and you will be able to avoid the two mortar drops that are coming on top of your head okay quick recap okay for the plate position drone killer will say everybody get into your position we are going to do plates plates in three two one go so i'm in my plate waiting for it to rise the percentage everyone's percentages should be good this is the best case scenario where there's no 20 percent variance or more okay so 80 percent he calls okay I'm getting out my specialization weapon okay he's killing drones and then you're going to pop off the plate with the crossbow Grenade person is ready to pop it off almost immediately after, and then light turns green. Other side, light turns green, your plate turns green, and then it goes away, okay? Plates are gone, okay? So we always start with the front of the Razorback. So the positions for two and three, those plate people will come here. Get in position near the trailer, go ahead and shoot your weak points. Damage, 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 okay? If you're able to, break the weak points quickly, damage the middle. Okay, and then you'll hear the alarm go off and the Razorback will start to close up again and go in defense mode. Go here and take cover from the mortars. Boom, boom. Okay, boomers will come out right around that timing. Boomers come out, kill the boomer, and then get ready to do plates all over again. Okay, drone killer will say, okay, boomer's down. Uh, well, not the drone killer won't say that, but whoever is killing their boomer will be the one to say boomer down. That signals the drone killer to be like, okay, boomer's down, let's go do some plates. Three, two, one, plates, and rinse, repeat, okay? Hopefully that makes a lot of sense. The timing for the boomers, this is what's called slow plates. Uh, to avoid confusion and to help people that are first time doing this raid, you need to kind of be within the right timing of the boomers, okay? And the reason for that is this. If you are doing, for example, this damage phase okay plates in three two one do the whole thing boomer comes out right so boomer's out and if we wait too long to kill the boomer or if we kill the boomer and we wait too long to do the next damage phase so say boomer is dead usually you would go straight into plates immediately after that boomer response if you wait too long what will happen is you know how long it takes based on what we just talked about for the damage phase to occur you have to go through all those steps i just talked about Okay, and what is the last part of that phase before the boomer? It's the mortars. So if you delay the whole damage phase and push it back by even a couple of minutes or uh, maybe even a few seconds too long, maybe like 20 to 30 seconds too long, while boomer spawns, because he spawns on a timer, boomer comes out, you may have mortars dropping on your head because the mortar drop will now sync up with the time that the boomer spawns if you do not do plates immediately after boomer comes out so that's something that's annoying because if that hits your head and you die while boomer is standing at the station there's no one to kill him or get to him in time and now you just you've just wiped the whole map go back to the beginning okay so that is important that once boomer dies that person should call it and the plates should get going almost immediately. I would say if you don't do it within 10 to 15 seconds of Boomer dying, then you will have mortars dropping on your head during the next Boomer spawn, okay? Speaking of Boomer, the last thing I will say about doing the plate position in coordination with uh, the Overwatch and all this stuff that we're talking about, you look at the health bar that's in the middle of my screen, it has the Razorback health with the yellow bar, and there's the shield in the middle, once you do enough damage to that center plate of the Razorback, you'll see the health go down. And once the Razorback's health is at 50%, you will not get one boomer per wave. You'll get two boomers. And boomer will spawn randomly between the four Overwatch positions. So for the first 50%, boomer will appear, only one of them will appear at a random location, one, two, three, or four. Once 50%, 
two bloomers will randomly spawn at any two locations, one, two, three, or four. So be mindful of that. That is very important. Boomer is not easy to, he's easy to take down, but he's very crucial because you don't want to wipe your map. Okay? All right, guys, I think I covered everything that there is to cover about the plate position. Um, that is basically it. Uh, there are other advanced things. Like, I, I briefly talked about it. So if the Overwatch is paying attention to their ads, they can actually help from shooting here. You can still see the weak points depending on where you position yourself. They can still come up and help shoot weak points if you can. Um, there's also a thing called prepping plates. So you can prepare the plates. So right now... <clears throat> I'm in a front position. I'm going to go to the back overwatch position, which is two and three. So if the first damage wave takes place on the front of the Razorback, right? So right over there, I'll aim at that right over here. Right around there, right where I talked about the trailer, that's where the four plate people will be, the, the drone killer and the three plates. They'll be shooting the weak points of the Razorback from that front position. That means overwatch, there's going to be two overwatches back here, three and two. They can still see the back of the Razorback. They can see the weak points that are back here. So what they can do if they, don't, they don't, yeah, if they don't have any ads, they can actually go ahead and shoot the weak points and prep the back. So once the front gets broken, the people that are doing plates can have some damage be done to the, the weak points for them when they're ready to shoot the back. So that's not crucial, but if you're able to do that, it does save you time on the damage phase every time you have to switch from back to front. So having the overwatch and be comfortable enough to do that is kind of an advanced skill. I wouldn't worry too much about that the first time or second time or third time while you're doing overwatch. For overwatch, just focus on killing your ads. If you are able to do that quickly and efficiently, some people can do that very quickly and efficiently because they're a good shot or they just know the mechanics and they're good with their build. Then go ahead and try to prep during a damage phase. That can be very, very useful. One other thing to help you as long as your game audio is set properly is when you are letting the team in the middle the plates do the damage phase when they're activating the razorback they shoot the crossbow they shoot the grenade the razorback middle panel will pop up like i told you earlier when that happens you'll have an alarm that comes out so it's an indicator that the Razorback is opening. That means the Razorback is open. As an Overwatch position, you should listen to it so that you know, okay, Overwatch, uh, uh, the Razorback is open. Once you hear it for the second time without having to look over, if you hear that for the second time during the same damage phase, that means mortars are coming because that is the same sound that the Razorback is opening. It sounds off again when the Razorback is closing. So it's important for you to know Razorback opened, okay, that's nothing, I don't have to worry about it, keep shooting ads. An alarm goes off again, oh, Razorback is closed, I should get up and start running in place or getting away from the mortars. Okay, so that can be very helpful in your Overwatch position. I should have gone over that in the other one, but I didn't want to talk about too much there uh, without having talked about the Razorback first. So that is technically for Overwatch, but it's in coordination with knowing the, the functionality of the Razorback, which I just talked about now. Okay, so that's a very important uh, boomer also has his own siren. It um, is pretty distinctive. So I'd pay attention to that knowing that mortars just hit overwatch should be listing for the siren that indicates boomer is coming. Okay, those are all little audio things that can help you out too with overwatch to prevent a wipe to prevent you from having too much struggles. Okay, guys, thank you so much for hanging in there with me. I know this is kind of a long one. Hopefully this was still helpful. Comment below if there's anything that I might have missed or things that you can add for a productive conversation in regards to the plate position or the Overwatch position in terms of the Razorback. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just end it here. Thanks again, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. I would like to talk about the drone killer build and position. We'll do that and wrap up the mechanics of the Razorback. Okay, shoots.